got uh, all Hannah's samples. Yep, two colours, two sizes. Two? Is two enough? Rob, should we be showing them a wider range? We most certainly should. I vote four colours, four sizes. Oh, Claire, if it's a hanging offence to care these days, guilty as charged. <coughs> I didn't mean literally guilty. Mrs Barlow? Oh, hi. Um, would you like to come through? Sally, would you get the officers a drink, please? Well, stuff that. It's not a social call. Look, just say what you got to say and have it done with. We're trying to keep this business afloat. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Right, come on, everyone. Back to work. There's plenty to be getting on with. Come on. Your brother's right. It's not a social call. We'd like another conversation. Look, she's told you everything that she knows. We need to go over the timeline. You've done it over and over. Rob. It's a murder investigation. I'm sure you'll appreciate. We have to be exhaustive. Yes, of course, whatever it takes. Why don't you take a seat? At the police station. You're arresting her? You'd be attending of your own accord. The interview will be recorded. You can have your solicitor present if you want. This is harassment, plain and simple. You haven't got the, the brains to run a proper investigation, so you're leaning on her, an easy target, in the hope that she'll break down. You could join us at the station, Mr Donovan, under caution if you carry on like this. That won't be necessary. But what about your solicitor? Call her. Don't call her. I've got nothing to hide. Oh, don't be a mug caller. That's what I want you to say. I'll take my own car if that's all right. I'll fussy what I'm seeing riding in. Michelle! Come here. Well, in order. No nasty surprises. Carla was right about the plum. It doesn't look cheap at all. Well, she knows her stuff. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. Right, um, would you like a drink while we firm up the figures? Eva? Uh, yep, yeah, tea, coffee, green tea, anything you like. Builders is fine. Strong enough to stand the spooning, got you. The solicitor's in court, said she'd get away when she could, but... Carla's on leave of absence, I take it. I heard about Peter and the girl. It's hard not to when it's plastered all over the papers. No, no, she's still very much hands-on. Yeah, she had a dental appointment. You'll probably see it. Listen. I've been through a marriage breakdown. Mine was in private. Not a cop or a journalist in sight. Don't tell me it's going to be business as usual. And did you lose your job? Did Roburn go under? No. That's because I bet you had a team in place to pull you through or not. Here we go, Bits. OK, uh, we'll confirm that by email, so you should have it by the time you get back to the office. Ah, see, I thought you'd see her. I was the dentist. Yeah, it was slow and painful. Go home. You look like death. Oh, cheers. Look, Carla, I've been there. Cost me my marriage. Learn when to take a break. Nothing stays secret in this game. But you've got friends. So you think that my husband strayed and a young girl was murdered because I am working too hard at my job. Uh, hang on. He didn't say that. I heard what he said. Look, you're touchy. You're not thinking straight. And you're deluded, mate. Is that your idea of sensitive? No wonder your marriage broke down. Oh, sorry, it's the anaesthetic. No, 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 no. You know what? He, he saw the product weeks ago. But all of a sudden, he needs to see it again. I'm really sorry. I'll walk you to your car. No, don't say sorry for him. Don't apologise. He's just a ghoul. He's a tourist. That's enough. What we were talking about today, Please, no, don't be hasty. It's off. She were pretty, wasn't she? I bet they met in secret here. I bet they did it on our desk. Why are you right back in your round, Robin? Hanlon! What? <laughs> 